Hello, Aquarius. This is your bonus reading. You're actually the winner. You actually beat Capricorn. I didn't try to finesse that shit from you, so I'm proud of you, man. <laughs> so this is going to be your bonus reading. For August, I suppose. You guys are, like, definitely try to get something done, right? As you can see, I made my little boy right here. Don't take this sigil or copy it. Especially if you don't like purple frogs. It's not a good idea. That's a no-no. Like, you just leave that alone. <laughs> anyway. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to have you on this side. The person you're dealing with on this side. What will happen if you guys approach. And the outcome. Cross watchers. Switch them if you need to. Take what resonates and leave the rest with the... Pound of salt. Because, you know, it's just a card game. Doesn't resonate if you don't believe in it, right? Right. So anyway, Aquarius. Now oh, I got two on top. Ah, oh, there he is. There he is. You want to communicate about something traumatic that happened back in the day, possibly with childhood, for sure. But you want to move on from that or whatever. Um, kill that shit so something new can begin because that is the right thing to do. Ooh, there's Libra. There's Scorpio. Yeah, I'll slew people on your side. Ooh, we got the fool. Like, you do have, like, a fear or a lack of faith in jumping forward to the person you're going to be dealing with, right? You're getting a lot of major arcana, Aquarius, I have to say. We got the king of pentacles right here. Here we got Earth. Uh, Cap, Taurus, Virgo. Getting that money or that moolah. Maybe you feel like you can give something to somebody that they would find valuable. Because you want to be friends. Me. Yeah. Okay. So that's your side. Person you're dealing with. Let's see. you're dealing with um they're still pretty in the dark about what they want to offer you like also an earth sign possibly but it's like they're stagnant and they're keeping their uh options or anything like they're, they're not sure if they want to offer you anything or some shit like that they are listening to their intuition but it's like they're keeping quiet about it like they already know what they're supposed to do it's just they aren't doing anything i don't know if you're scared or if they're worried you're going to reject them, but it's kind of like that's a top thing on them, like, you know. Um, like Prodigal Son or some shit, I don't know. Um, I think they think you're going to be aggressive. <laughs> I think they think you're going to be really aggressive and mean to them with that page of swords right there, like you're going to come at them and just whack them or some shit, right? Afraid that things won't work out because of that anger. Like, I, I don't think that's what's going on with you right now. Like, they do want to offer you something eventually. Like a package. Amazon package. Not an R. Kelly package. It's a good package. Like, they want to offer something in order to make things work. They're just really fucking terrified. Wow. Yeah, this person's really terrified that you're going to fuck them up. Even though they want to be released and want... And, and, like, it's like they want to be released and they're willing to face judgment at this point, you know. Realizing that, like, you have every right to put all them swords inside of them because it's, like, betrayal. Or maybe they realize they betrayed you in some way. Feeling like maybe they shouldn't have had so much control over everything or expected to have control over everything the way they wanted to. Which I can kind of relate to because I got an Aquarius moon and if I felt like someone betrayed me, I'd probably want to rip their head off. But at the same time, it's like, it's like this person isn't aware that all you want is to have them. Like, you still have love for them. You still, but it's also like that King of Pentacles kind of bothers me too because it's like, it's almost like you want to offer material gains, you just don't know if that'll work. And this person wants to come back with material games to try to make things work, but they just don't know. They're just scared of the judgment, I think. 
So what's your next real Aquarius? Uh, you feel like an opportunity was wasted when it comes to your cups? <clears throat> or you just are grieving over a loss of some sort? Like, maybe you want to go impulsively to this person, or maybe you think someone impulsively left. Could be Leo, Sag, or Aries, right? Like, without, without thinking, without hesitation, you might be just busy working on your own shit. You got a lot of pentacles going on, um, Aquarius. I have to say, you are working pretty hard on shit. I think just to forget what's going on, though. Um, you could have a Leo on your mind. Or you could be emulating that, being like, you know, oh, I'm good with kids. I'm going to walk over here to the park because I know they got ice cream. And if I got kids, they won't question me if I get like five extra scoops in a bowl. I'll just be like, your other kids I got to take it to. I'm totally getting me a shit ton of ice cream, right? <laughs> now that could be something you're thinking about. Hmm. I think you want to be diligent and actually have a discussion, but at the same time, you're willing to, like, bring up shit from the past, or you think you need to bring up shit from the past. You know. Maybe you think this person's gonna come riding in like the Knight of Swords? And honestly, like, you guys are really happy with each other. I mean, there's Leo once again. Also, Gemini. We got the moon with the secret, so someone feels like their emotions were played on your part. And... You guys are still kind of seeking information from this person, right? You're still kind of wondering, still trying to get the scoop out, still wondering, like, why, why, why are they stringing me along like this? Why are they... Why do they keep, like, bothering me with this bullshit? Or you're looking for somebody, like, you might have dealt with another person who reminded you of them or some shit, and then it was just kind of like, mm. I think that, like, either this person was messing with your emotions and using shit, or there was something else going on. I feel like you're dealing with possibly another Aquarius, though. Or another Earth, Air sign. I almost said Earth. Air sign, I think. But I'm not entirely sure. This person's kind of like looking for calmer waters elsewhere, out in the great wide open. But they still love you, so that's cool. Maybe they're coming out to search for you, look for a reason to stick around just somewhere. They just don't know how yet. Like they want to be secure and they're willing to like face you even though they're terrified. That's Leo's card once again. Um, this person's at a crossroads to do something, though, so. And they want to focus on what's actually fair, like, what's more important, you know, having control or looking at what can be controlled together, I feel like, you know, taking everything in and un understanding their place in the world, I think, you know, maybe they realize that, like, not giving the love is possibly a wrong thing to do and they won't do want to start a new cycle with you i think because you know i'm pretty sure the tower has them feeling left out in the cold i think they faced their tower i'll pull one more for this person yeah and things just didn't go their way once they did so i feel like this is somebody who um Maybe they took advantage of you a little bit or some shit, or they just lied or something like that. Like, it's like they took something. Like, something of value. Like, it's like with the King of Pentacles, you gave them something of value. And then it's like they just disappeared peered when they realized, like, you know, they were kind of screwing you over. And that's probably why you're a bit miffed right here looking for information with the page of swords with that sword up you're looking for this person who just messed everything up because they kept you emotionally tied being like oh yes we have a great time and then it's just kind of like you know um you're kind of missing mia where'd you go you know like you're not trying to take any action towards them 
because you're trying to get your head straight out of the situation. This is what happens when you guys approach each other. Like, you're not going to them. They got to come to you, pretty much. Yeah, it could be another air sign you're dealing with, for sure. Possibly with fire in them somewhere. But it's like, they're looking at you like you're the illogical one. I'm like, I'm not crazy, you're crazy. Or they're trying to make you feel like you're illogical. When it comes to this relationship, so yeah, it definitely could be a Gemini you're dealing with, too. Uh, you're trying to make a choice on this, whether to stay or go. And this person is just like acting like pretty much a spoiled brat, like bitter, angry, upset. I think because you called them out. They got you worried to death. It's like they don't realize what they're doing. And they... <laughs> They're sitting there with their hand, with their king of pentacles being like, hey, uh, you owe me. Like they're a moocher or something. Like Hmm. Yeah, I know two air signs that fit this very well, actually. Okay, I got the picture now. You need a break from this person asking you for shit. It's like. I mean, if this isn't this person, like, mooching off of you, this is you deciding that you have too much debt with this person to, like, continue on and you need a break from their bullshit. And it's got you feeling real in your feelings enough to do something that will probably not be a good idea for the most part. Not saying that you're wrong, but it, it's got you in your feels to the point where you're about to take some action against their ass. So what is the outcome? Petty bitch is fighting. That's all. Like everybody arguing about stuff but not really getting anywhere with it. Uh, you're holding the grudge. Letting your, like you want to let your feelings out but it's like you're kind of nixing that because it's like, uh, we could start something new here. We could start a new cycle maybe. You're trying to restrain yourself. You've got a lot of fire, a lot of Leo on your side, Aquarius. So some of you might, have, so you could be a Leo or vice versa. You could have all of that fire in you. Because this is all pretty, because like Leo, you know, they are pretty much, like a lot of people think that Leos are narcissistic and that's not the case. It's just they have a lot more self-esteem and confidence in themselves. Well, certain ones. There are other ones who feel like they're still losers no matter how accomplished they get, which is like, uh. But I feel like you're harnessing, especially with Leo season, like you're harnessing that and just being like, you know what? This is all about me. Fuck your feelings, you know? Like you're coming out of that introspection with that too. And you're realizing that you're looking at this person like, you know, when are you actually going to start focusing on me for once instead of like worrying about what you can get from me? You know, because I'm always offering you shit. <laughs> Every time I offer you shit, you go right out the door, and then I feel like I'm just sacrificing my own shit to help you out. Just wasting my time. Um, what the hell are we committed for? Like, for reals. Uh, oh, I didn't see that one over there. Yeah. Thought we were in good terms. Yeah, I gotta pull all these. Um, person comes back a bit combative, but no love whatsoever. And you're realizing that this past relationship is just in the past. It's no longer like two kids. You're walking away from that shit. This person gets heated, and then you just stop giving a fuck. That's yours, Aquarius. Okay, so <clears throat> thank you for watching my video. You may like, share, subscribe if that's what you want to do. No pressure, of course. If you want a personal reading, my email's down below, along with all the info. First readings on the house, anything that follows up always comes twice, right? But you guys take it easy. I will see you later. I've got to figure out a better way to end my videos, honestly, because I'm a trash panda when it comes to it. But I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.